there is no reason to be holding on to your CDs anymore. Between iTunes and Spotify and about a hundred other services, anything you've listened to can be downloaded again or streamed at your convenience. But there are some exceptions. You're probably holding on to a box full of rare, sentimental mix CDs that you haven't yet gotten onto your computer and let go of. I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly and painlessly. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a computer with a CD drive and iTunes on it. Could be any version of iTunes. You're gonna need your CDs and you're gonna need a smartphone. The first step is to take a picture of your CD. Now this one is a great example. This is a CD I got from a friend in Japan. This cover, this is what I'm sentimental about. So I'm gonna take a picture of this. And if you can put this into square mode, that's gonna really save yourself some time and some cropping. Take the picture, boom, and then email it to yourself. So now the next step is to get the CD into your computer. Now once the CD is in, iTunes is gonna automatically try to pull down any information that it might have about the CD. It's gonna try its best to identify the tracks and the titles, but in this case, because this is a one-of-a-kind CD, iTunes is gonna draw a blank. It's gonna give me a generic listing called Audio CD and generic tracks called Track 1 through 14. So the trick is we need to identify all this information ourselves. To do that, hit the CD info button. I'm just gonna put my friend's name on here. It's the artist. The album is going to be CD from Japan. That's probably how I'll remember it. All right, the next step here is to import the CD. Go and hit the import CD button in the top right corner. You're gonna get a box that will let you change how you're gonna import the CD. For me, this is more about sentimentality than about audio quality. I'll go with an AAC at about 128 kilobits per second. It's gonna give you better quality than MP3 at about the exact same amount of time. If you're really gonna go crazy with this stuff, you can go all the way up to lossless audio quality, but after you do a few of these, you're gonna realize that speed is much more important than audio file quality. All right, now we've got the CD in our library with album artwork. One more tip though, if you wanna add more images than just that one to your album, you can go track by track, hit get info, and add a separate image. You can get creative. All right, so that's the entire process for digitizing your CDs into your iTunes library. Now, for an extra added value, you can take advantage of Apple's iTunes Match service where for $24.99 a year, you can upload all the stuff to the cloud and have it backed up and be able to stream it back to any of your Apple devices.